Hello, this is Mike, K0NGA, and today I wanted to do a video on the new Titera or TYT MD 2017 contact list import feature. Now, this works somewhat similar to the Terra uh, TD7400, I believe. I did a video on that one, but it's a little bit more involved. Uh, but don't panic, it's not really that hard. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you need to be on firmware version 3.35 or later, but right now that is the current version, and you need to have the CPS version 1.17. So they just put that feature into that firmware, and you can only get at that feature in the software in the CPS version 1.17. So you have to start there. Uh, there are other videos and web pages that will show you how to do that, so I'm not going to uh, uh, worry about that in this video. So the next thing you need to do is you need to go get a contact list file. Now, the way that I do this is to go directly to DMR Mark and download a copy. So the, what you do is you go to the dmrmark.net, dmr-mark.net, go to database, go to looking for a data dump, click that link. And this link here will get you the entire database with all the information in it. So we click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to start doing this data dump here. Now, don't panic because it has a CGI extension. Don't worry about that. What you then need to do is go into uh, the, inter the uh, into your file explorer here, show in folder. And now you can see the datadub.cgi. All you have to do is change that extension to CSV. Like that. And open it up. And... Boom. So here is all the information, all the call signs, all the usernames, and er everything else from the DMR Mark database for all the users in the database. So that's step one. Step two is we need to be able to format the columns in the CSV file in the manner that the software is expecting it. So that's why this is a little bit more involved than the TR7400. So if we go over to our 2017 CPS, uh, I, I have that screen up. So where you get to that screen is under Program, Write Contacts. So that's where we're going to be doing all of this. So in order to figure out how to um, format the CSV, what you do is you do an, an empty export. So I just opened up the software. I haven't got a, a, uh, a code plug loaded. I'm just going to hit Export into my downloads files. I'm going to call this Example. Okay, now I've got my example export done. I'm going to go back to my uh, downloads folder, and there's my example. So I've opened up my example. Ah, so what you'll notice is that here are the here are the headers that it's expecting: radio ID, call sign, name, nickname, city, state, and country. So if I go back to my other uh, my data dump. You'll notice that I don't have the nickname field. I have everything else, but I don't have the nickname field. And I have this extra remarks column over here. So all you need to do is right click here and delete the remarks column. Go in here to right before the city and insert the column and call this nickname. Like that. Now, if I did that right, they should the column name should be exactly the same. Uh, back to the other one. There's example radio space ID. Call sign name, nickname, city, state, country. So I'll go back here to the uh, data dump. Radio space ID, call sign name, nickname, city, state, country. So I'm good to go. Save that in that format. So now that you have that created and all the column headers are correct, you need to close down the, the, uh, the spreadsheet so that you don't get a sharing violation that doesn't like the spreadsheet to be open while you're trying to import it. So now that you've closed it, go back to the software, click on import, uh, select your data dump and hit open. And it may take some time for it to fully import. It may look like it's doing nothing, but you notice that's how long it takes to get that file in. But that's all you need to do. All right. Now you're ready to go. So I'm going to get my radio here. And I'm going to hook up the cable. You can hear that go off maybe. Screw that in. Make sure that the radio is, in fact, on. And then you hit the right button. And it should start off pushing up that that uh, file. Now it'll start at zero percent, and if you see that come up, you know that it's working. Now this will take some time, 
Uh, it takes about three to four minutes or so. Uh, don't panic. Again, it's supposed to take that long. So I am going to uh, pause the video here, and I'll be back when it gets closer to 100%. Okay, the file is almost finished uploading. Just a couple more percent left to go. And the upload is done. Now that you have the contact list uploaded, uh, written to the radio, there's one last thing you need to do. You need to go into the radio and enable the CSV file in the radio. So what you do is you go in the menu, uh, you go up or down, depending on your preference, to the utilities menu selection, select that, uh, select radio settings, and then go to number 14, which is Contacts CSV. You select that, you get two options, turn off and turn on. Uh, just move the selection up to turn on and, and hit the menu button, and that will turn the Contacts CSV feature on. So what that means is that now the radio, when a radio ID comes in, it's gonna check the radio ID against the Contacts file you uploaded instead of the Contacts list that you programmed in the code plug. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this video enjoyable and useful, and I will see you in my next video. This is K0NGA saying I hope I see you on the air.